Hey, what's up guys? BOG here. We're about to get them either or in that by the trailer you saw at the beginning of the episode, I did not expect that. We got a good real look like him actually talking instead of the promo images of the Gotham Joker. This is really good guys. So I'm gonna get right into the breakdown. So for starters, you get this sort of the Dark Knight vibe from him. See he's sitting in here um kind of in a chaotic state a state a state state um and he's drooling and stuff and it's mainly because my theories is because maybe he lost his memory or another theory could be that bruce wayne he has nothing to do because you know bruce wayne is off doing whatever but yeah the main thing that caught my attention is that maybe his memory is lost maybe he doesn't remember anything before and if he does then he knows that bruce wayne is the batman because I mean you can you can guess it and yeah so in this trailer I just love how they this Joker gives me sort of a Jack Nicholson vibe you know from the 1989 movie I love what they're doing with him and how he acts is uh, is priceless and then you see the battering you see the battering this looks like it could be like a Batman versus Superman battering uh, you guys can think whatever you think but that is my interpretation on it but yeah so another thing that also caught my eyes, how he turns around and like, uh, Cameron Monaghan did like the best job in this scene, how he turns around and looks at the Batarang and then he just starts screaming like with laughter and I think it's amazing how they're actually doing this. There's a lot of stuff that I haven't covered because I haven't been making videos like that, but I will be covering it in this video. Um, so yeah, with the Joker is um, is something different. Now the, I know they can't call him Joker, which really sucks. They could call Batman Batman. I don't even know if they can. Um, I guess they're just going with the Dark Knight. But I don't even know if they can. But they're probably using Batman. I'm not sure. But I don't know why they can't call him Joker. It's restricted. But they're getting a lot of leeway with this. He's called Mr. J, and pretty soon maybe um, if they want to do this franchise. Then they are this storyline, you know, past the old 10 year time jump, and you know, the will not be continuing because of you know, it's gonna end. So, uh, yeah, so again, you could just pretend saying, Oh, he calls himself Mr. J because he doesn't know what's called himself, and then he finds the greatest punchline, whatever, blah blah blah, comic book accurate, and then he calls himself the Joker. Now, one thing I will be going over in this is the Batsu leak. Now, I did go over it in one video um but it was deleted because i took a break and then no one seemed to be watching my videos at the time so i just took a break from youtube and uh, i deleted the video and it was revealing a lot of stuff is revealing future james gordon which i'll actually save that for another time um but yeah so this is the bat suit leak we got the bat um the batman you know banner thing and in this picture the suit actually looks pretty cool i like how the whole thing comes back into this whole shoulder pad thing and stuff like that and the camera angle makes it look so good and um and yeah so one thing we'll be comparing is that the actual batsu leak with david mazuz in it was sort of different it was off camera so it wasn't with all that fancy editing let me pull that up right the second okay so this is the uh david mazuz in the suit and just looking at I I mean I like the suit but I'm just gonna do sort of like a let's say a comparison so the comparison is um, the Batman from the banner he has like a um, sort of you know it looks like a hard helmet thing that goes down to his shoulder pads in the and the back of him looks really good and I just love the way it's designed I mean, there's, it's really good. I, I, I really enjoy it. It's, it, it's really good. But another thing that I enjoy from the other Batsuit we see with David Mizzou staring at the camera in a green screen is 
the suit like with this like I like the helmet I uh, I like the bat suit like sign on his chest I like the bat sign on his belt but there's a big gap in between there's a big gap and um, the gap I don't know why they added the gap it wasn't really necessary um, and uh, it looks really good and yeah but like again I don't know why they added the gap and uh, it, it doesn't make sense why they had to add the gap but this suit looks pretty good for a low budget movie like <laughs> low budget movie low budget tv show because this is not a movie this is a tv show now hopefully it will be like a two hour special or something like that pretty sure it won't be i mean i hope it is I hope it at least like an hour and 30 minutes because 45 minutes is not long enough for a gotham tv show and uh yeah guys so that's really my thought on it um and I guess it will look like the banner they show in the, you know, whatever thing. But anyways, I think the finale now, like, out, it was kind of off and on for me. But I think the finale now might be actually pretty good. Gotham has disappointed us, but looking at that J tra teaser trailer, they've actually upped their game. So I'm really excited to see what they're going to do next. So I hope you guys will enjoy the video. If you did, drop a like down below if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content. I will be uploading a Pennyworth video tomorrow about the new Pennyworth show that might be taking place a prequel before um, Gotham. So I'll be doing that. I'll, I already have it in editing already. Um, I will be uploading that and I will be trying to make more videos. It's just personal stuff, school and all that stuff. It just gets in the way. Um, and yeah guys, so I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. I am BLG or Better Gotham. Peace out and subscribe for more videos.